Hello, this is Aaron Frankel and welcome to my blog at JerusalemExperience.com. Today we are visiting the Church of St. Anne. The church was built by the Crusader during the first half of the 12th century since they believe that this is where Mary, the mother of Jesus, was born to Hannah and Joachim, the only grandparents of Jesus. Mary's right to her birthplace presumably did nothing to protect the church, which was captured by the Muslims in the very same century it was built. The Muslims cleansed the church of its Christian symbols and turned the church into a madrasa, a religion school for Muslim children. Above the entrance, you can see an inscription testifying to this event. 600 years later, in 1856, the Ottoman Sultan returned the church to the French which 22 years later entrusted the church to the White Feather, an order of the Catholic Church named for the color of its priest robes. These stairs leading to the crypt where Mary is believed to have been born. Notice the notes left in the crack of the stones by worshippers praying to Saint Mary. The church is renowned for its amazing acoustic design. Pilgrims from all over the world come to sing and pray inside the church. It is amazing how a voice of one prayer can be sound like an impressive choir. Outside the church of St. Anne, there are the pools of Bet Chazda, which means House of Mercy in Aramaic. During the Second Temple period, this pool and the surrounding area were used to heal and treat the disabled. Now you are probably asking what any of this has to do with Jesus. So, this is where Jesus performed one of his miracles of faith. Legend has it that once a day, an angel would grace these pools and stir up the water. The first ailing person to get into the water when it began to stir would be healed immediately. One day, Jesus was walking in the pool vicinity and saw an ailing person lying next to the pool who had been an invalid for 38 years. Jesus approached this man and said to him, Get up, pick up your pallet and walk. And that's exactly what happened. The man was cured at once. Getting back to the present, in the middle of New York's Central Park, there is a fountain with an angel statue, the angel of the water fountain at Bethesda Terrace. If we look around aside from the pools, there are the remains of a Roman temple to Asilipus, the Greek god of medicine and healing, and a Byzantine crusader church. I welcome your comments and suggestions to this video. It is essential that I learn what my viewers are interested in and how I can improve my blog. That's it for today, and until we meet again in my next video, let's all live the Jerusalem experience.